H. L. Green was a five-and-dime store chain in the United States during the 20th century named for founder Harold L. Green History The chain was formed in 1932. The chain operated 133 retail stores as of 1935, most resulting from the acquisition of Metropolitan Chain Stores, Inc. of which Harold Green had been president, F & W Grand Stores, Isaac Silver & Brothers Company, and F & W Grand Silver Stores, Inc. Harold David Kittinger, who had founded the Kittinger's chain which had merged with McClellan's, served as a company executive from 1932 until his death in 1947, at which time he was president of a chain that had grown to 200 stores. It also owned the Schulte United Department Store Canadian unit was sold to Zellers. By 1957, the chain had 227 stores, and was beginning to locate in shopping centres. Green acquired Olin Company, a retailer based in Mobile, Alabama. Maurice Olin became president of the combined company, but left after an investigation revealed an asset shortage, leading to an investigation by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, and lawsuits by the company against Olin. Olin was indicted and fined $2,500. It acquired United Stores, which owned a significant share of McCrory Stores and McClellan Stores in 1959, but sold this in 1960 to BTL Corporation which also owned Ben Franklin Stores. In 1961 McCrory Stores merged with H. L. Green, the combined company taking the McCrory name. The same week this was announced, McCrory took over Lerner Stores. H. L. Green sold its Canadian subsidiary Metropolitan Stores and some other assets at this time, reducing the number of stores in its system from 366 to 147. H. L. Green was the subject of an important copyright legal case in the 1960s Shapiro, Bernstein & Co. v. H. L. Green Co., 2 DC 1963-P446, in which a vendor of records in an H. L. Green store sold bootleg records, the stores named H. L. Green closed as McCrory's entered bankruptcy in the late 1990s. Topic: Desegregation. Like many similar stores, it had segregated lunch counters in its stores in the southern United States and became the subject of protests, including sit-ins, in the early 1960s. In the North, individual store managers occasionally took the initiative to break the color line in hiring, as occurred in the early 1950s in Newark, New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> 